God bless you this morning. We, Father, we certainly thank you for your love, kindness, and for your tender mercy. We thank you for touching us with your finger of love. Our eyes came open to see a brand new sun shining day, and wherefore we're grateful. Bless us in your word today, we pray in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen and amen. Oh, what a time we had on last Sunday. Amen. Minister uh, uh, Ralph Neal, Pastor Neal, he sang a song called Love Lifted Me. Amen. And our, and our pastor went on to uh, talk about the love and told us that sanctification, being sanctified, wasn't a denomination, but it was a way of life. Praise God. So, you see, the whole Holy Spirit is your true source of love. Love is the most powerful force on earth. Holy Spirit is the source of the greatest force on earth, love. The Bible says, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us in Romans 5 and 5. The fruit, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, Galatians 5, 22. It is Holy Spirit that places an unexplainable love within a mother's heart for her child, the husband's heart for his wife, the pastor's heart for his people. The proof of love is the desire to give. Oh, for the Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, John 3, 16. God gave, that proved his love. Holy Spirit enabled Jesus to love. He prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. In Luke uh, chapter 23, I think it is, and 34, Holy Spirit enabled Stephen to love those who stoned him. He kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge in Acts 7 and 60. Holy Spirit alone can plant this kind of love inside a human heart. It would be normal to pray a prayer that called down fire from heaven on those stoning you. This is a remarkable work of grace in the human heart. It is normal to retaliate. It is human to fight back. It is uncommon and divine to forgive. This is true love. <laughs> Hallelujah. The love of Christ enables these missionaries to fight emotional battles and financial difficulties and cultural bar- barriers in their ministry among heathen. Praise God. Some have forfeited the comforts and the luxuries of home to empty their lives into small villages. Why? The love of Christ placed there by Holy Spirit for unlovable people. Many wives have birthed the salvation of their husbands because of the love of Holy Spirit within them. Their husbands came to Christ because of their conversation and conduct. They never quit loving their husbands. Thousands of rebellious teenagers have been drawn back home like a magnet to a loving parent because of the love of Holy Spirit. Certainly parents have felt discouraged and demoralized, and anger is common among disappointed parents, but Holy Spirit can do the impossible, impart an uncommon love for a rebellious and a stubborn teenager. God sends his love toward you even in the worst seasons of our lives. The Bible says, but God commended his love toward us, and in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us in Romans 5 and 8. Love pursues for The Son of Man came, the Bible says, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Hallelujah. Love even protects him. For Exodus 20 and 5 says, for I, the Lord God, am a jealous God. Love provides him. For the Bible says in Exodus 15 and 26, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. The love of the Holy Spirit is not manipulating another. Love of the Holy Spirit is not decided by conduct and behavior of another. The Bible says love will never cease. Paul understood this. He said, now he that planteth and 
he that watereth shall want, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his labor. Praise the name of Jesus. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building according to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder. He said, I have laid the foundation, and another builds their own. Praise God. But let every man, thank you, Jesus, every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Praise God. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. In 1 Corinthians 3, 8 through 10 and 13, see the love of the Holy Spirit dissolves fear. Aren't you glad you don't have to be afraid when you're in love? Mm-hmm. Oh, God, this love that, that the Bible says there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. I, I'm confident when I have the love of God working in me and you. I'm confident, praise God, when I have the love working in me, that I can do what the Bible said I can do. Praise God, the Bible said, for fear hath torment, but he that feareth is not made perfect in love. But I'm so glad that perfect love casts out all fear. This love, hallelujah, can give me joy. It has given me joy, unspeakable and full of glory. This love makes me love everybody. This love lets us know that everybody is our neighbor. This love will give us peace. Amen. Peace like a river. Praise God. This love will give us hope. Oh, yes, my Lord. We thank him for the love that Holy Spirit gives. Thank him for joy and peace. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for us. Yes, Thank you for love, love, love. Uh, Hallelujah. Like a mighty stream. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, So now, Father, we thank you for the promise of peace. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, The world is in a battle. Every day is an emotional and war. Everything around us seems designed to break our focus and create distraction. But your word, I say your word, Lord, is a lamp unto our feet. And your word is a light unto our path. Because we love your word, my peace is great. Holy Spirit, You are the true source of peace. You are the spirit of peace. And we embrace you today. Your words matter to us. Thank you for the word of God, the instrument of peace that you've given unto us. It drives out all darkness, and it brings us into a place of rest. Hallelujah. Rest in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, the joy that came to me when I knew that I had been set free. It was because of your love. Your love lifted me when nothing, nothing when nothing else could help me. Hallelujah. Thank God for his love. 
thank God, uh, Holy Spirit, that you give me confidence. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We pray these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. 